Okay, welcome. So if you're here, you're probably brand spanking new straight off the boat or just dipping your toe into beginning development of websites and Webflow and converting them over to the platform of your choice using your Desly. Now, one of the tools you may use over and over again is going to be something called custom attributes. Now, although they are super useful, they are however not required and you can build perfectly, perfectly awesome websites with no custom attributes whatsoever or just a little light sprinkle here and there to kind of get that functionality that you're looking for. However, if you want to push the boat out a little bit in terms of complexity or if Webflow doesn't offer a like for like piece of functionality between their platform and let's say Shopify or WordPress, then custom attributes are going to be your new best friend. And they are very, very useful to learn and kind of get into your process and kind of get into your tool bag to make your life easier. Okay, so now what are custom attributes, you may ask? Well, custom attributes allow us to append uh, custom data to our various different elements in Webflow. A bit like that. And Udesly uses these in order to aid the conversion process and spit out the correct code for the platform of your choice. Think of these as massive shortcuts in order to write code for the destination platform without any of the pain. <laughs> magic. Now one thing to keep in mind is that custom attributes won't work across the various different platforms. So a Shopify custom attribute isn't going to work correctly or at all on a website that's converted into WordPress. There is a little caveat here unless they are exactly the same on both of the documentations. And sometimes you won't find an attribute to suit your uber specific requirement, but fear not, there is advanced custom attributes that you can use which give you a lot more control. But they basically, you have to start to emulate the code. So you really need to understand your destination platform's codes in order to use them correctly. And for that reason, we're not gonna get them into them now because it's just going to confuse you. Okay, so let's go through a quick example, show you how this all works, and more importantly, where you can find all these custom attributes so that you can can use these in your projects. Okay, so we're going to work on this particular product page and we're building a Shopify theme. Now let's say we want this particular piece of text to show the product type. So let's say we want to make it so it's a t-shirt or jeans or whatever it's been authored in Shopify. So all we need to do is head on over to Udesi University. We'll click on Shopify because that's what we're converting for. And in the search, we'll just type in product. The first result is the one we want. And you'll see this little handy menu system on the right hand side. So we're just want, we're looking for the type and we'll click on type and here we have it. So we've given these particular, these three different elements. We have the product, which is this purplish blue one, which is this, this one is the name and this green one is the value. And this handy little button here is one that we can copy and paste directly over into our project if we wanted to which will automatically come across as all pre-configured. That's a super handy little button and definitely use it, but we're gonna go back to showing you the slightly longer way just so we can fully teach you how to use this and what to expect and what goes where. Okay, so here we are again, and we have these two that we want to work on. So the great thing about both of these is they are buttons, and if you click on it, it'll copy it to clipboard so you don't have any typo issues. So click on the first one, the, the name one, which is this light blue one, and we'll head back over to, to Webflow. Click on the object that we that we want to add the custom attribute for. Click on the, the gear icon to get the, the element settings, and then down at the bottom here, we have custom attributes, and we'll just add a new one. And then in name, all we need to do is just go command or control V to paste that in there and we have the name authored. Now to get the value is just as simple, we just head back over and we just click type. Back over here, control V or command V again and hit enter and you are done. That's it, it's all simple. No more work to do. They will now convert that code over and if you want extra credit, basically what's gonna happen is it's gonna take that particular custom attribute and it's going to convert it into this, which is the Shopify liquid object for product.type. Now you may think that, well, that doesn't look like a massive shortcut. Why don't I just do it the other way with a code embed? Now, yes, for this particular example, you would be right. It isn't much of a shortcut. However, as you use the diff various different custom attributes, some of the functionality is going to be a lot more complicated and writing that piece of code manually will take you a lot longer, especially if you don't know how to write liquid code or PHP or whatever. So they really are going to be your best friend in terms of speeding up your workflow. All right, so yeah, that's it. They're awesome. They are massive time saver and we're always adding new ones which extends the functionality without having to extend your personal knowledge of how to write various different server-side scripts. So big thumbs up there. Now 
can get a little bit confusing. So if you do have a problem or you're stumbling, we're here to help. Just ask the questions below or on one of the forums and yeah, we'll get back to you and teach you how to use it. Catch you later. Cheers. Bye.